questions. So as police chief, uh, the last thing you want to get is a call like I got last night. Uh, I can only imagine what the families felt when they received that same call. Uh, we had an officer who was violently attacked uh, while truly doing his job, and, and not just attacked, but ambushed. He was ambushed as he went to try to, to help folks that were being uh, preyed upon and, uh, and robbed and, and uh, put himself in harm's way. So uh, please continue to pray for him and his family. I'm asking for anybody in the public that has any information about this crime, any cell phone video, any video on your business or your home that can help us bring these folks to justice, to share that with the Phoenix Police Department or Silent Witness. And additionally, uh, I'm going to encourage the folks that are involved in this incident to turn themselves in. Uh, we will not rest, we will not stop until we hold them uh, to account for their crimes to the fullest extent of the law. And with that, I'll, I'll be able to take a few questions. How do you identify? I know he was off duty in terms of how do you identify himself as police, and do you feel like that was a factor in why this encounter got so violent? He was in uniform, working off duty at a business in the area uh, when he was flagged down by a victim of this crime and, and walked over and began to uh, investigate the crime. So he was clearly identified himself as a police officer. It was clear. Uh, and that's why it's so important that we take these folks into custody. If you're willing uh, to perpetrate violence on a police officer uh, in the process of committing a violent felony, you will do that to any member of the public. So I would say that these folks should be considered armed and dangerous. Do you have any leads on a description at this point? I mean, do we have any security camera footage or anything to go off of? Yeah. This happened just a few hours ago. Detectives are working tirelessly right now to collect video, talk to witnesses, and put that together. As soon as we have something, we'll be able to share it with the public. We will. Any other questions? It's not life threatening. The officer is still at the hospital. What I would encourage the local community, if anybody saw anything or heard anything, uh, please share that information either with Silent Witness or the Phoenix Police Department, or if you have any video uh, from your home video uh, that's, that's on your house or any cell phone video, please uh, share that with us. Uh, there's no immediate danger uh, to the immediate neighborhood, but we need the community's help. All right. Thank you, everybody.